You know, the one area of Georgia that is not experiencing an influx in newcomers? That would be most of the state with the exception of the Metro Atlanta area. Why is this? Nearly 60% of the state of Georgia's population lives in the Piedmont region of the state, which is the region around Atlanta and its suburbs, which means that very few people choose to live in South Georgia. Why is this? Hi, I'm Sarah Mislowski with Key Point Homes Group, a local real estate agent right here in the Northeast Metro Atlanta area, and I specialize in helping people from all over relocate right here to Georgia. As someone who was born and raised in South Georgia, but has called North Georgia home for the past 10 years, I know firsthand how different these two areas are. So why is it that so much of the state's population chooses to live in one specific region. If you take a look at this map, you can see that most all of the counties in middle and south Georgia, aside from right along the coast, are considered rural. This next map shows the population density by county, and you're going to notice that most people live right in one section, which is classified as the Piedmont region. But even more specifically, that concentration of people is in the city of Atlanta and its surrounding metropolitan areas. One of the biggest reasons so many people choose North Georgia is because of the strong economy and job force that is available here, especially around the Atlanta metro area. Atlanta is a major economic hub in the Southeast, home to numerous Fortune 500 companies, tech startups, and a diverse range of industries, including finance, healthcare, media, and logistics. Atlanta is also home to Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, one of the busiest airports in the world, which is highly appealing for companies whose employees need to travel often. You've also got areas like Alpharetta, which has been dubbed the technology city of the South. And many companies like Facebook and Microsoft have opened their doors here in Atlanta. UPS, the Home Depot, and the Coca-Cola company are all headquartered right here and provide over a million jobs in the area. Middle and South Georgia depend more on agricultural and small town economies. While these regions play an important role in Georgia's agricultural output for crops like peanuts, pecans, blueberries, and peaches, they don't offer uh, the same amount of job opportunities as the north half of the state does. Because of this, people gravitate to the north half of the state where you can get higher paying jobs with more opportunities for growth. While the agricultural economy is important, don't get me wrong, it doesn't offer the same range of job opportunities as the more urbanized areas in the north. Many people who grow up in South Georgia, just like myself, leave for employment and educational opportunities in northern cities, contributing to a slower population growth rate in the south. Now, North Georgia is home to some of the state's best educational institutions and healthcare facilities, which is another big reason why so much of the state's population lives here. The Atlanta Metro is home to some of the top rated public schools. You've got prestigious private schools and renowned universities, and this concentration of high quality education is a huge bonus for families who want access to the best schools for their kids, especially if they want in-state for some of our great colleges. We've got Georgia Tech, Emory University, and Georgia State University are all right here in the city of Atlanta. And then of course, you've got Athens, just an hour and a half away, and it's home to the University of Georgia. And up north, you also have the University of North Georgia and Brunel University that is just a little bit further north of the city. Not to mention the many technical college as well, which many great colleges here in the north half of the state and all rather close to one another. We also have great public schools all throughout North Georgia, and you're gonna find many more specialized programs here as well. A lot of this has to do with the amount of tax dollars allocated to these school districts. The more school taxes that are collected, the more money that goes into the public schools, which is why you find such highly rated schools in more affluent areas. On the same hand, the healthcare options in North Georgia are some of the best in the Southeast. Major healthcare networks like Emory Healthcare and Northside Hospital provide world-class medical services, which are less accessible in more rural parts of the state. Here in the North Metro, we also have Northeast Georgia Medical Center in Gainesville, which is a level one 
trauma center and a major hospital in just about every county. When you look in middle and south Georgia, you're going to find that you have a lot more limited access to specialized medical care, and you're going to have to travel longer distances for treatments that would likely be right around the corner for you in north Georgia. I remember growing up hearing all the time about people having to travel to Atlanta for health care. In middle and south Georgia, there are much fewer major hospital systems. If you had a major medical emergency, you would likely be transported to another bigger hospital system in the closest city. You're going to have to drive farther to get to your basic health care providers, and this is one of the biggest drawbacks to folks who are looking to retire in the area. I remember when I was growing up down in Valdosta, my dad needed to have uh, open heart surgery, and growing up in Valdosta, they chose to send him to Jacksonville. That was two hours away. It was really hard on the family to deal with his medical emergency being over two hours away from home. A lot of people want quick access to quality health care, and this is definitely easier to find in North Georgia than South Georgia. While the cost of living in North Georgia, particularly in the metro Atlanta area, is higher than in middle and South Georgia, many people are willing to pay the premium for access to better job markets, schools, and amenities. The housing market in North Georgia is very diverse, ranging from luxury homes in affluent suburbs like Alpharetta and Johns Creek to more affordable housing uh, in farther out suburbs like Gainesville and coming. On the other hand, real estate in middle and south Georgia is generally more affordable, but this lower cost of living comes with some trade-offs in terms of fewer job opportunities, lower wages, and less access to modern conveniences. Again, growing up in South Georgia, if you wanted to travel to shop or if you wanted to go to bigger name brand stores, we often had to drive to towns like Tallahassee or Jacksonville in Florida because there just is not the malls and shopping opportunities down there. Of course, in South Georgia, you can find beautiful homes all throughout the state, including in South Georgia, but you will have much much bigger variety of housing options in the north half of the state. You can get on Zillow and look in towns like Augusta, Columbus, or Macon and scroll through dozens of homes listed in the $200,000 range. And you can find some even less than $200,000 homes that are $150,000, $170,000. That just does not exist here in the north half of the state. I would say that the lowest realistic entry point for a home in North Georgia is $300,000. And even that is really tough to find these days. And it's only for some towns. If you look at cities like Alpharetta and Johns Creek that I mentioned earlier, that price point does not exist. To find out why those towns are as pricey as they are, make sure you check out this video. Right now, the average sales price in the greater Atlanta area is $529,000. Of course, areas like Johns Creek and Alpharetta and Swanee are going to come with average sales prices much higher than this, ranging closer from $700 to $900,000. There are areas with more affordable price points like Flowery Branch, which is just around $500,000, and then over in Jefferson, which is right at $480,000. Or you can check out Loganville, which has an average price point of $435,000. But even in those more affordable towns, out of the combined 646 single family homes currently listed on the market in these three towns, 16 of them are less than $300,000. Several of them are total gut jobs, and there's also several that are essentially just being sold for the lot. The few remaining that have been on the market for pushing a year now, which signals that there's probably some major issues or else someone would have come in and bought them by now. So yes, it's definitely going to cost you to live in North Georgia. Many people are drawn to the much cheaper cost of living, slower paced lifestyle, and more privacy and space that living in middle or South Georgia gives you in lieu of quick, convenient access to healthcare, shopping, restaurants, and all of those things that come with that much higher price tag. If that sounds like your ideal lifestyle, you would likely be much happier in South or Middle Georgia than here in North Georgia. There is growth just about everywhere you look in North Georgia, and that is definitely not everyone's cup of tea. If you do, however, enjoy being close to everything, having great amenities, restaurants, schools, and easy access to hospitals, it's going to cost you. You will find a lot of older homes in South Georgia because it was developed before North Georgia was. If you look at this map, you're going to see that you will essentially 
that we have a fall line that essentially splits the state in half. The state just kind of drops down and flattens at this point of the fall line, whereas the top half of the state is a completely different terrain. Since we sit at the base of the mountains up here, Augusta sits right there on the fall line, which back when Georgia was established, made trade easier because of the rivers and streams. This is the reason that when you are searching for a home in present day in Augusta, you're gonna find much older homes, many that were built in the late 1800s and early 1900s. And the reason is that people originally moved to South Georgia was because the land below the fall line was so flat and the soil was better for growing crops. It was very different from North Georgia where crops were so much more difficult to grow because of the mountains and the Georgia red clay. Now this fall line is also where we commonly refer to as the gnat line because gnats thrive off of the wet sandy soils in the coastal region. It's kind of like two different worlds, South Georgia and North Georgia. We have very different weather as well. We get all four seasons here in North Georgia, which I love. Whereas South Georgia, you experience a lot less of a winter. It's more like hot and less hot. And it has more of those kind of like Florida-like conditions and it's incredibly flat. This is another reason people gravitate to the top half of the state. We get a break from the heat in the winter. We also get a true fall without having to deal with everything getting too crazy cold. Usually there's one snow day a year, although the last two years it's been non-existent. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have lived in both South Georgia and North Georgia. And to me, it makes sense why so many people gravitate to the Northern half of the state. There's just so much more to do here. There's better opportunities, more jobs, and the list goes on. So I'm curious to know what your experience is and what your input is. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of people that are die hard. I will never live in North Georgia. So let me know, would you consider moving to North Georgia or is South Georgia more your speed? Let me know in the comments below this video. If you are thinking about making a move to Georgia, I want to be your real estate agent. You can reach me by clicking the link in the pinned comment below this video if you are considering making that move. But if you still aren't sure where, make sure you check out this playlist to learn more about the different towns here in the Northeast Metro. If you think that Middle or South Georgia is more your speed, let me know and I can put you in contact with a really great agent anywhere in the state.